what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to try to fix the mounting points of my front lip i'm gonna have to take the bumper off and try to fix it so let's start removing this bumper i have not removed a bumper of one of these cars before but we're gonna learn we're gonna learn So the bumper is about to come off. Um, it's so easy. Two tens on the grill. I'm gonna go here. These go right here. The grill actually has these little tabs that go between here. And there's also other tens that go right here. And there's a couple what is this, T25, T25 uh, screws that go, that's hooked up right here. There's four, four on each side. So when you take those off, you should be able to take the bumper off. And you got to remember to unhook the fog lights as well. There is actually something else that I have to take off underneath the vehicle. So I'm gonna have to lift, lift the car up and take it off. It's off. I actually had to take three 10 millimeter bolts right there. It's supposed to be four, but I'm gonna put another 10 millimeter bolt if I can find one here in my house. Now it's time to fix this. Let's see. You see, like that, it's supposed to be around here. So we're gonna fix that. I actually brought some silicone to see if that works to you know to keep it in place. I'm going to actually use this table that my dad uses to paint, but I'm going to put towels in it to put the front bumper on it so I can fix the issues. Now I'm kind of ready to try to fix it. You see all these are like all out um this is out all these are out and if you look on the inside this supposed to be over here like i said earlier this over here this over here this that that's would be up here so i'm gonna try to fix it put some silicone on it so it can stay where it's supposed to and we'll see what happens
so far I've taken this grill out because it was restricting me from putting putting these back where they're supposed to but up here on this side it didn't want to really line up I'm gonna put silicone on these let let it cure then I'm gonna put silicone on these I also forgot to mention that I got these low profile ramps on Amazon. Um, I don't know how good they are. Like you saw, I just put them there just for safety. I haven't actually used them the proper way, but for now, they're good. So this kind of cured. So now I'm gonna put this side together. I know it's not pretty but silicone on all these especially here because that is where this thing was broken actually so i put a lot of silicone there i know it's not pretty but i hope it does the job and these are all where they're supposed to and all the all these were all where, where they're supposed to be you know these two they're all we're supposed to be, but I wanted them to be perfect. Now it's time to put those on right here. And I also ordered the little black piece that goes here and on the other side. So we're going to install those right now. somewhat complete probably 95 percent complete i actually installed this side i ordered these from amazon and they fit pretty well i did the i think it's the passenger side one i'm gonna hold off on the driver side for now but yeah i mean hopefully this fixes my issue so now let's put it back in the car and drive it. All right, for some reason, my phone died on me and well, now we're, we're up and going. So you know, the bumpers are on now and now time to drive it. I am actually gonna go pick up my cousin um, so she can help me film. I'm going to take these five gallon jugs and fill them with E. Let's go.
feeling my body. God damn. I'm sweating. 22 gallons and $88 worth of ethanol. Filled up two five gallon jugs and my car. Not too bad. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.